Hey, what's up guys? It's Auditing America. I'm out with Breaking the Flaw and we're in Gloucester, Rhode Island. We're doing a First Amendment audit at the town hall. We're gonna see if they respect our rights. Please share, like, and subscribe. In the Let's see if they treat us with respect. You see they have a lot of cameras though, look. I'm thinking they won't, they won't mind our cameras. Hello. Hi, how are you? We're just taking pictures. Can you tell us what this uh, office is? This and is the town clerk's office. Town clerk's, okay. And what do you guys do here? Do um, we have the vault where we keep land records, land evidence records, and vital records. Um, we do licensing. Okay. I'm thinking. <laughs> um, what type of licenses? Uh, business licenses. Okay. Uh, dog licenses. What kind of, what, what do you mean by dog licenses? People come in once a year to license their dogs in town. Give oh. a little dog tag. Oh, okay. Is that like an enforced law or like? Um, it's state law. It's state law? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, you, have a, you gotta have a license for your dog? Yeah. You, do. you don't have to license your cat, just your dog. Interesting. Oh my God. Yeah. Huh. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> well, my dog identifies as a cat, so. There you go. There, <laughs> there you go. go. There you go. That's there all you, you have to say. You Ask her. This. She'll she'll lick you and be like, rough tongue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks. If you need anything, let me know. I'm going to make a copy. All right. So what happens if you have an unlicensed dog? Um, Do you get a fine? I don't know. I think that's a constitutional challenge. Yeah, I agree with that. If you have a aggressive dog that can't handle itself in public. No, aggressive aggressive dogs need some some you know some training, and if they don't learn to behave themselves. Then unfortunately, you know, there needs to be some sort of regulation on that. But I think it should be voluntary. Open, come in. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. Good. Thank you. Um, maybe you could just tell me what this department is. What you guys do here? It's the planning department and building and zoning. Okay. Okay. So we issue permits and we do subdivisions and things like that. All what right, type right. of what type of permits? Building, electrical, mechanical. Okay. Plumbing. Cool, cool. Okay. All right. Nice. Very nice. Thank has, you. Has like um, the times have changed with GPS? Is that something that affects you guys, like with the electronic systems like that, or with what systems? I'm is talking? it like GPS now? Is it all electronic? Uh, like zoning? we have a GIS person that checks out. You know, she can see visuals of things. Okay. And stuff like that. But yeah. You guys have a good drone or something? No. No. Okay. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no drones here. All right. Thank okay. you. Yep. Have a good day. You, you too. too. Very nice. Which way do we go? This way? Ooh, this place has so many cameras. Right. Because someone vandalized the bathroom. Looks like an old jail. <laughs> you know it predates any kind of uh, handicap. Because they had to install on stuff. Um, Human services. It this says is it's open, so I'm going to try the door. Nope. Go see what they got over here.
Also chambers. It smells funny in here. I am not responsible if these mics are on. Testing, one, two. Testing, one, two, and it's on. It's not right. I wouldn't be able to really notice. <clears throat> oh man, I we, we need a desk like this. Oh, you guys speech? Yeah, it is. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> Go ahead. Gloucester Foster, of course. <laughs> you guys have the best parade in all the country because you make fun of politicians and policies. And I love the trolls. Keep up the good work. Just the glitter is terrible. Don't throw it on the ground anymore. <laughs> That's what I would have to say to Gloucester. And uh, yeah, keep up the parade. I hope you keep it going. I know it's probably, I don't think it's run by the town. I think it's done by a private committee, which is even better. Uh, and uh, let's see some uh, good signage up there this year. Make fun of Gina Raimondo. I'm telling you, that's gonna be like the hit this year. <laughs> or, or a Donald Trump float. <laughs> and subscribe to Auditing America and Breaking the Flaw for sure. So you can see what's going on around Rhode Island. Most of the chili. Hi. Hello. How are you? Can I help you? Um, um, maybe you can just tell me uh, what department this is and what you guys do here. This is the tax collector. Okay. So I take people's money. Okay. <laughs> and I take taxes. What, what's the process of doing that? Do they come here or? They can either mail it in. Uh, they can um, drop it in our box outside or they can bring it in. We have now, a lot of people come into the counter and pay. What if they don't do any of that? And then what happens if they ignore the notice? Well, depends what it is. If okay. It's, um, real estate, they could be okay. placed on tax sale. So well, what does that mean, they would tax sale? It like, means um, that uh, a lien would be put on their property. And they would have to remove themselves from the property? Well, no. No, they would have a year to redeem it, and then um, they clear the title, so they'd have the property back in just their name. It just puts a lien on the property. And that like, what if they don't pay the lien? What if they don't uh, do in that process? Well, it could be foreclosed on by whoever bought the property, bought the, uh, paid the taxes at the tax sale. What, what if they're the original owner and they paid uh, the whole property off and we're at this point then? What do you mean? Like, so you're saying that they owe taxes, but they own the property, they own it outright. Uh, what would happen if they well, ignored if the... they didn't have any mortgage or anything on it? Right, they... Well, that wouldn't matter. They still... The tax sale process, if you don't pay your taxes by law, then you go to tax sale. There are laws okay. in um, uh, Rhode Island, General Laws 44, that um, address this. So they're basically their property would be taken away? If it got foreclosed on. Okay. If they didn't redeem. That's all I need to know. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Have a nice day. So, do you know if you own your property? Oh, town clerk's they office? They will still tax you, and they'll take it away from you. They'll put a lien on it, and then it'll go into foreclosure, which probably goes to auction, I would assume, at that point. Usually, that would happen. The, the town uh, puts a lien on it, goes into foreclosure because of the lien. Well, it would have to go to court. Okay. They can't just foreclose on it. It has to go to court, okay. and the court would decide. Okay. And usually that's not in the favor of the owner of the land. No. What? Okay. What do you mean? If, they if, they, if they're court, not paying their taxes. Oh, it? even if it goes to court, they still have the time that they can pay back whoever ordered a tax sale. They can reimburse them for all their fees that they've spent. They can still get their property back. What if they... Until it's foreclosed on. But let's just say they morally object to the taxes. Well, there's an appeal process. Okay. And they go, go to the assessor for that. Oh, okay, so the assessor would evaluate the situation and decide? Yeah. Okay. If the, there's an appeal process, and um, she would go out, she can explain all that. I'll do that. Thank okay? You. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. 
Hello. I had, a, I had a question for you. Can you have the time? All right, so um, when someone's uh, property goes into foreclosure uh, by uh, not paying their lien on the property, uh, say they already own the property, they don't have a loan or anything out, um, and, and they morally object to the taxes, and they have, and I guess they go to an appeal process. Um, has there any been, has there been anybody that actually has won without having to pay taxes? Not that I'm aware of. I've only been here a year, so okay. we haven't had any go to court yet. Is there so anyone here that would uh, be able to answer that question with more Mark, of a experience? Question, what property? Oh, uh, not any particular property. It's just um, it would be if someone owns the property, but they didn't want to pay their taxes and they uh, got a lien, they put an appeal. Um, has there been anyone that's ever won not having to pay the town taxes on the appeal? Well, not totally, but they have to, it have, you have, if it happened, I could tell you if they won or not. If there's no case, then I can't tell you. Oh, so I have to bring up, like, cases? If something that happened, yeah, maybe. Like okay. Like that appealed, the, the real estate through the assessor? Yeah, I'm, well, I mean, I guess, like, if he didn't pay his taxes, then you put a lien on the property, so it goes I in. I don't, I wouldn't put a lien on it. I don't. Pay tax. I don't. I, I assess not collect. Okay. Yeah. So, I yeah. I was just talking to her, but the, I'm talking about the appeal process. So you guys handle the appeals. Right. So if okay. they won the appeal, then I would let the uh, collector know. If they didn't, I would send them a letter denying them. If I needed to do an inspection, I'd do an inspection. So um, them, unless it's a particular case. You don't. Yeah. Okay. So you don't. You don't know any particular cases where someone has never had to pay for their tax properties. Well, I've only been here two and a half years, and I've okay. never, not when I'm, I'm here, that's all I can comment on. Okay, no, that's fair, that's all I want to know. I mean, I, I could put like an app for a question to be like, uh, all the cases where landowners disputed their tax uh, liens and won, you know what I mean? I could put in an app for a request, but I'm not going to do that. But thank you, thank you very much. Have a good day. Have a good day. So at least for two and a half years um, from uh, Thank you. Is this closed? No. All the way down. No? It's locked? It's locked. The treasure is locked? Did she just lock the door on us? I don't know. Right. So this one isn't good. Hi. Is this locked? Um, I have someone might have hit the button going in or out to the oh, bathroom. Oh, okay, Thank sorry. You. How you doing today? Good, good. Good, good. Uh, could you uh, just tell me what this office is and what it does, its function? We're the finance office. Okay. And we pay the bills and do the payroll. Okay. How's it looking? Is it balanced? We try. Okay. Well, that's a that's a no. I mean, it's never really balanced, is it? Just work on it every day. Right, right. Because there's always debts. There's always I get you. Has there ever been a time where it's been zero? Like it's been nice and even? I just pay the bills. I oh, okay. Look at the big picture. I don't I'm just curious if I ever hit that moment where I, it's like I everything's paid. I don't look at the statements. I do okay. the individual work. Okay. And someone else. Do you know who does the statements? Probably the finance director. Finance director. Is he here or is she here today? She's in a meeting right now. Okay. All right. Maybe I'll run into her. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. I wonder where the, the mayor's office is. That's a good question. Huh? That's a good question. You like the questions? Yeah, Joe Orga. Right? Joe Orga is giving some <laughs> tough questions, huh? Has the balance, has the balance ever? I mean, the budget ever? All she was missing to say was, well, don't pay your taxes, you're going to prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that's where the old thing comes down to.
So when when that when that when that happened, um, you can take that. Take it. I'll talk to you then. All right. All right. All right thanks. Hey, did I give you that slip to call? His name is Rob. Who was it? Rob. Um, no. Okay. Oh, Rob. He stopped the conversation when I went in. Oh. What do you think from the only? Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a camera. Uh, Cause, cause there's one two. One person abused them. Oh, the my God. Clearly, this is like a school or something because, like, boys, that only would happen. I know. It's supposed to say uh, men. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. Maybe there's a plot that explains the story. Where the heck is the mayor at? He has to. I think we should ask these people. This shouldn't even be there. And you know what I'm saying? That's what, that's why we do this, bro. Look, intimidation. What? Huh. I'm sorry, where's the mayor's office? There is no mayor. We don't have a mayor. We have a town council and we have a town clerk or I guess finance director. Okay, okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Yeah, there, there's no mayor here. Did they just put Which one? No cell phones? No, it, it was there when we went in. But they shouldn't have those signs up like that on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, on the door. No, they're trying to respect privacy, which they should say, please respect privacy. That would be a good one. Yep. I think it's a really good one. Instead of saying no cell phones. It's, it's intimidation. All right. It's intimidation, but what do you think? other than that, they passed. They didn't tell us to stop videotaping. Other, I think well, they actually, they're, every question. There's, uh, there's some. Yeah, they did. I would give them. I wouldn't say it was like a superior because uh, North Prom is definitely topped everything. So uh, this is an. A. I will give this them is an A. No, 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 no. We can't give them an A because they have a sign that says no cell phones. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I will I give them. A. So B plus. I will give B them plus. a B minus. Why minus? Because I mean, if anything. A lot of people would take it as a fail, even though they didn't tell you, but they are telling you no phones with a sign. They didn't tell us personally, which is good. Yeah. But let's walk around them. But they shouldn't have a sign. So I will give them a B minus. Take off the sign. We'll bring it up to an A plus. Yeah, I would say I would say so. That's, I like how they thoroughly ask the questions of their knowledge. That was that was a really key thing because having that openness really shows credibility. You know what I mean? Yep. Uh, honesty and credibility and trust. <laughs> now I'll leave him do a favor. I'm gonna pick up some trash for him on the phone here. Thank you, Joe. So there you go guys they treated us with respect and they answer our questions what town is this again gloucester. we're at the town of gloucester in rhode island at the town hall they did very good except for the sign so please guys make sure you you smash the like button subscribe to auditing america and to break in the flaw. You have a good one.